Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn more about the CFN signal helper script. So let's get started. So the CFN signal helper script signals cloud formation to indicate whether your Amazon EC2 instances have been successfully created or updated. If you install and configure software applications on instances, you can signal cloud formation when those software applications are ready. Now, previously with the help of CFN init, we retrieved, that is the cloud formation service could retrieve the data from the, uh, from the EC2 instance, but it didn't help us know actually whether the resource has been created completely or not. The creation process was started, but exactly at what time duration uh, it has been completed, that reassurance was not provided with the help of CFN hyphen in it. So CFN hyphen signal helps us do that. So let's go to the syntax of this particular CFN signal. So in this case, we'll be, we can use these many parameters according to the requirements. But among this, the most or the required ones are hyphen hyphen resource where we'll be mentioning the logical ID of the resource and stack along with the weight condition if we have any kind of condition that needs to be mentioned okay so in this case we make use of weight condition like if that particular condition will have to wait for that particular time so for that we use weight condition also and in case and in this case you can see that for the stack we'll be mentioning stack name or stack id for the weight condition dot url a presigned url that you can use to signal success or failure to an associated weight condition so this is the url so that you can use to signal the success or failure to an associated weight condition. So it will wait for that particular uh, time and then after that it will send a particular signal. And this is for the resource wherein we'll be mentioning the logical ID that contains creations policy you want to signal. So it can be anything. Okay. So we can also mention the logical ID of the weight condition okay yeah so let's go to our example and try to understand it in more better way now you can see that this script is similar to what we had used previously for the CFN in it like for the CFN in it we were using this particular command and for CFN signal we have just added this command and at the same time added the sample weight condition which contains the creation policy for the signal okay so let's try to understand that what we have written over here so in this case on installation or updation of this particular package it gets installed cfn signal gets installed at this particular location so we have mentioned the location of cfn and signal followed by this particular thing is used to detect or write a particular condition like if the cfn in it works completely then it will be sending us a good signal whereas if it doesn't work or if there is any failure it will send a bad signal so that with the help of the signal system we'll get a kind of assurance that as resource has been created properly so for this particular cfn in it we have got this particular cfn signal and in this case we have mentioned the stack id the region along with the resource now this is the resource that contains the creation policy which we have defined or declared over here okay so in this case we have mentioned the creation policy which will work for the creation of a resource and then after that it will be sending a signal after this particular time it will check whether 
the particular resource that was mentioned in the CFN in it got created in this particular time duration? If yes, then it will be sending a good signal, else it will be sending a bad signal that the resource was not yet created. Okay. So now rest of the things are as it is that we had previously studied in CFN in it come. And you can see over here that within the files we have mentioned uh, this particular location for index.html. So we'll be able to view these two um, lines in our content of web page, right? So let's go and create our cloud formation stack for this particular template. Now this is template is already ready. I'll be uploading a template file from this particular location. And next, I'll be entering the stack name, CFN signal. Okay. And then after that, I'll be adding the SSH key. Next, add a new tag. Name the tag as my instance. Again, the same thing. For the I am role name, I'll not um, assign any of those as of now, but you can assign it according to your requirement. Now, this is the review page and submit. Now you can see that creation has started. You can see that all this is the sample weight condition, right? Which is of type weight condition, SSL security group. So their creation has started also. Now you can see that SSL security group is also created. And now it's my instance that is EC2 instance that's getting created. Here the creation has initiated. You can see now that instance has been created, but if you go to this particular public IP and search you will see that host not found. Why? Because the server did not accept the condition. Because the user data has still not been completely executed. Like yeah, so for that since it is not completed since the creation of EC2 is not yet completed properly or the though the instance is created the things that we want to implement using user data are still in lag yeah so because of this we require signals where we'll properly understand that yes the resource has executed the required uh, commands also on that particular instance. It definitely takes a bit of time. Now you can see that the sample weight condition is completed and now if I go to this particular and now you can see that the user data that we had already mentioned over here got successfully created and all the required commands have worked. So with the help of sample weight condition, we get the required assurance that our resource has complete, has completely has been completely created and at the same time, other things associated with that particular instance are also completed properly. So that's it for this lecture.
hope you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel if you really like the videos and also don't forget to press that bell icon so that you get the new updates whenever i post any video so thank you so much and have a nice day thanks a lot